<laughs> the kids know that we are leaving today and they are pretty upset. They actually, Chris started the truck uh, just to roll forward a little bit and they all ran out like, don't leave, don't leave. Why are you leaving? And Chris is like, no, we're not leaving yet. We're going to wait until after breakfast. And so we're walking back towards the camper and Jocelyn grabbed me and said, don't leave, don't leave. And <laughs> she basically wouldn't let me go. <laughs> My favorite memory was when we first first coming here and I mean they didn't even the kids didn't even know me and they come up and just wrap your arms around you and don't let go <laughs> and it's just crazy like yeah <laughs> my favorite activity with the kids was taking them for walks and going to the park and we took them just down the street to the park and they loved walking. Just getting off property and walking around the neighborhood just brought them so much joy, so much happiness. Uh, it's crazy because it was so easy to do, <laughs> you know, uh, just walking with them, holding their hands. Among all the other things that we found while we've been out here is that the kids just love to get off property and walk around. They want to run. I say walk. So we're out just walking, exploring. I think they're taking us to the stadium where they play sports. So we're gonna go check that out. What I enjoyed most about our time here at the orphanage is this, uh, spending time with the kids. Um, they have my heart. They are the sweetest, most precious kids that uh, I've met, um, even, especially the girls. Uh, it's going to be really, 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 really hard to leave. <laughs> what I'm going to miss the most when we leave is... Gosh, the, the kids, their smiling faces, just the, the joy that they have and the love and just, gosh, just being here with them and sharing that with them. And that's what I'm going to miss the most. What I hope for the most for these kids is that they know that they are loved, even though they don't have parents, that they know that they're special and that they're loved. Nailed it. <laughs> you, got, you got me crying too. <laughs> These dang kids are so beautiful. Grown men can cry. These kids are beautiful. And we don't want to leave. We can't stay. This is just a part of our trip. It's not the, the whole purpose. It was just a beautiful accident that we got to have. And these kids are awesome. And we are fortunate. We're crying now saying, thinking that we're not coming back, but we know we'll visit them again in a couple weeks before we leave the Southern part of Baja. Um, and God willing, we'll be back. Again, but it's hard thinking about these kids um, because every day we've we've been here a couple days and every day we woke up and we went and we hung out with the kids and then we would take a little break and the kids would take a little break and then we'd go meet up with them again and we'd sit down for a meal and then we'd run off and we'd play 
or we'd go for the walk and sometimes we'd walk two or three times a day off property just to oh they loved it and it was like it was like a retreat for us and the sense that we had no schedule no agenda we weren't worried about anything we would just get up and do whatever with the kids that we could do and i think lindsay nailed it when she said that's the best way to be involved with this place is get in touch and we'll make sure that you have contact details but get in touch and schedule during your trip a way that you could spend two, three, four, five days. If you could spend two weeks here, you'd have an even bigger impact and really connect with the kids. And that's our goal is we're going to leave at some point. We're going to leave, but we don't want to leave the kids without somebody. We want you to come down and we want you to experience the love in their eyes and their smiles. Our whole goal with Called to Wander is to bring you to places like this that just rip our hearts apart when we have to leave because we think about the kids without us and we think about them without a visitor and we know that the more people that come here and share love with the kids, the better off they're going to be in life. If you're looking to have an experience like we had here, I think the kids, what they need most is just someone coming here and just spending time with them, playing with them, loving on them for more than just a couple hours to spend the whole day. Or if you're in a rig like ours, camp here. Um, they'll plug you in with electricity, just camp here, spend the night, and spend a couple of days with the kids, and they will love it. Do I think, so not knowing Spanish, is that going to impact your time in a negative way here? No, not at all. You don't need to know Spanish. I mean, it helps. But no, you don't need to know Spanish to come here and love on kids. Our goal is to connect you with this place so you can have an experience of your own, but like ours, where you get to love on the kids. And if you can build something or you can fix something or you can teach something or whatever it is that you can do, uh, this place could definitely use it. But we want you to come here. We want you to meet these children. We want you to love on them because that's what's going to be the most impact in their lives. If you've liked what you've seen in this video and you want to learn more, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Our goal in traveling is to show you places that you can volunteer when you travel to Baja.